Hello, Dr. J here. I'm going to talk about the individual project on potentiometers. But before I talk about the projects, let me give you a discussion or background on potentiometers. Potentiometer has three terminals and that it can be modeled as two resistors back to back. We have the terminal shown here for the model, but for a typical potentiometer, we have it shown here with an adjustable knob and its corresponding points with the model are this. Here we have one and three and that's usually fixed. So no matter what you do with the knob you're gonna have a fixed resistor value between points one and three. In order to have variable resistance you need to use points one and two or between points 2 and 3. And that will give you a variable resistance. The symbol for potentiometer is simply a resistor with an arrow pointing it or going through it. So if you just see a resistor with an arrow, it is a potentiometer. So now that you have a brief background on potentiometers, let me demonstrate it using the multi-SIM software to show you that you can get a varied resistance with a potentiometer. So what I have here is a symbol of the potentiometer. Connected to the potentiometer is a digital multimeter. The digital multimeter can be found on the right side, highlighted here, and you can just click on it and then drag it to the screen and that's your potentiometer. I'm going to just delete this one now and show you the resistance. Now I'm going to run the simulation and right here you can see there's a slide dial. That slide dial is used to vary the resistance of this potentiometer. I'm going to, I mean, uh, I'm going to double click on the digital multimeter and right now it reads pretty close to zero ohms. I'm going to change it by sliding it so at 5% this is 5 kilo ohms. The total resistance for this potentiometer is 100 kilo ohms. So at 5% we should read 5 kilo ohms. Next is 10 and you can see as I vary you can see the digital multimeter changes value as I slide down right here. Okay. all the way to 100k or 100 percent. Now let me delete this piece of wire. Let me turn this off and then delete it. And I'm going to connect it to this end of the potentiometer. Not connected to the arrow. So you can see it reads 100k but however when I vary it you can see nothing happens because as I mentioned before let's say this is terminal 1 and this is terminal 3, it is a fixed value of 100K. If you're going to use a potentiometer, you need to use what we call the wiper arm, which allows you to vary the resistance of a potentiometer. Now I'm going to try the bottom so you can see that I can use it between points 1 and 2. Alright, and again we have the slider arm gonna run the simulation and right now it reads a hundred K on this side the left side of the slide and then as I vary we could see I can start decreasing it alright and so that's how a potentiometer works showing that you do can and will get varied resistance between either points 1 and 2 or 2 and 3